Hey there, Mercedes here from prettywebs.com and today I'm gonna to show you how to create a seamless pattern from scratch inside of Photoshop. And if you like this video, make sure to like, share, and subscribe to this channel and visit prettywebs.com for more design resources for your blog and business. Now let's get started. Come to the shapes here and we're gonna choose the ellipse tool and then just drag out a circle here in the center. And we're going to fill this with black. We don't want a stroke. And then I'm just going to put this here and center it. Okay, so from here you could make an easy uh, polka dot seamless pattern. Uh, but I'm going to change mine a little bit. So I'm going to come up to the filters up here at the top of the screen. And I'm going to use the ripple. Yes, I'm going to rasterize it. That's fine. And we can just kind of move this around a little bit. And kind of see what we get from there. Okay, that looks good to me. I just don't want it to be a perfect circle. And in fact, I'm going to make it more of an oval shape just to make it a little bit more interesting than just the regular polka dot. But this is going to be the exact same thing that you would do with the polka dot. So I'm going to duplicate, right click, and duplicate that layer. And I'm just going to hide the bottom one. With this top one, I'm going to come back to the filters area, go down to other, and then go down to offset. Now remember, we have a 500 pixel document. So 500 is a good uh, starting point, five or 600. Of course, you would just half that. So half of that is 250. So we would use 250 pixels horizontal and 250 pixels vertical. And that's going to bring that shape into each corner. Click OK. Now in the center, you can put a whole other graphic in there if you like. Uh, use another circle, which is what we're going to do. Or even add um, multiples if you wanted to. So we could, we could actually add another one here. Shrink them down a little bit. And then uh, move it maybe over here. And it's going to give us a little, a, a different look. So we'll go ahead and use that. And I'm going to save this. I'm going to define pattern. So I'm going to put two dot. Okay. And then I'm going to take it back to where I had it. So I'm going to go back to edit, define pattern. And then this is going to be a one dot. Click OK. Now we can open a whole new document. And we're going to make this one 3,000 pixels by 3,000 pixels. Click Create. We can add that pattern to it. So I'm just going to unlock this layer, double click, go to pattern overlay. I'm going to choose that last one that we made. Now, uh, when you have this open and you're working with the pattern, um, you can also come in here and kind of move this around to get it exactly where you want it. And we can bring it down even more. So we'll have 25% look something like that. And we can change the pattern. So we had that two dot one that we created. You can see the difference that that makes. Just by adding that extra circle in there, you get something completely different. And then let me bring that up and you can kind of, you know, get an idea from there. Okay, so if you want this pattern to be transparent, meaning you don't want it to have a background, so you can change your backgrounds whenever you need to, you can uh, do that as well. So I'm gonna just, just hide that background here and go back up to edit, define pattern, and this is gonna be uh, one dot transparent. And then I'm gonna go back into that document and I'm gonna choose that one, the, the one I just made. So I'm click OK. So I'm gonna change the color of the background to, I don't know, maybe a blue. If you want to add color to the dots themselves, then uh, we're going to have to do that a little bit differently. So we'll come over here to add a pattern adjustment layer and we're going to adjust that to 25%. Click OK. And by the way, I am using the, let me go back in there. I am using that transparent pattern that we created uh, so that I could change the background if I need to. Click OK. And now I'm just going to rasterize this layer right click, rasterize layer. I'm going to get rid of the layer mask. Just delete that. 
and then I'm going to double click here on the side and I'm going to add a color overlay. This is the color of the overlay right now, but I can easily change that. So I can come in here and work with that and see what color looks best with the background color. Click OK. OK, get out of that. Um, and then I can even come back. I'm actually just going to put a solid color here just because it's easier to work with. I'm going to put it underneath this. And that way I can, or at least it, I, I feel like it's easier, uh, but I can come in and uh, move around and see what works best here. I can even add a gradient behind there. I'm going to turn all of these off and I am going to add a different shape. So I'm going to use a one of the custom shapes. You just have to come over here to the side and just choose the type of shape that you want. So maybe we want this snowflake right here and I'm going to just make that shape really quickly. So this is going to be our main shape. I want to make sure that it's centered. So I'm going to press Command A just to grab the entire selection and then center the shape on the canvas. Command D to let that go. And then I'm going to go back up to filter and we're going to do offset again. Yes, we want to rasterize it. So we've put it uh, part of it on every single corner. Click OK. Now we have this empty area here and we can either just leave it as it is to give the pattern a little bit of space and room or we can add more, but we're going to add more because why not? So I'm going to come back in and uh, grab this snowflake and then this one as well. Okay, so I'm going to leave that as it is and I'm going to go up to edit, define pattern, and then just call this snowflake. Let's go ahead and save this one, edit, define pattern number two, and we can keep going with this and playing with it as much as you like. Um, but for this one, I'm just going to come over here and check it out, see what we made. Okay, so I did make those patterns transparent, so I'm just going to come over here and add a pattern. And this is the second one that we made because it, uh, Photoshop always automatically puts the very last one that we created in there first. So this is the last one, and I like it. I think it looks nice. You can adjust the size too small. Um, but maybe 25%, 50%. And then, of course, you can change the colors and do all of that stuff. Maybe even add a pattern to this. Let's take a look at the first one that we made. And that was this one. And almost looks a little too busy with this big snowflake here in the middle. And the, the patterns are really easy to make and move around until you get something that you are going to be happy with. So I'm going to go back to my second pattern because I think I liked this one more. And I'm going to do the same thing. Right click, rasterize this, get rid of that mask, and then double click and I'm going to change the color. To learn more about working with Photoshop, watch one or both of the videos up on the screen right now and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Until next time, thanks for watching.